Hello, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. This is um, episode 69A. Well, it'll go on, like maybe A, B, C, D. I don't know. Uh, my camera separates them into four gigabyte um, sections, so it might be three sections. So that would be A, B, and C. Uh, episode 69 is in Genesis 34, uh, the Dinah incident. Um, I'm sweating. I was just out working in the yard. It's August like 18th or 19th or something, and um, I don't even know. I think it's the 19th. Um, August is horrible in Fayetteville, Arkansas, uh, because of uh, it's always 100 degrees. Yesterday was like 101. I think it was 97 with a heat index of 101, 102. And it's called Turn. Uh, Fayetteville is a college town, so Turn means the old students move out and the new students move in. So everybody that is working is um, forced into uh, moving furniture, painting rooms, vacuuming floors, cleaning kitchens and bathtubs, uh, and helping move furniture. Uh, my back has been sore for like 10 days. <clears throat> and I'm moving more furniture here today and finally catching up on laundry. Like uh, I'll get home at 11.30 at night or 9.30 at night and, have, and wake up and leave the house at four in the morning. So, anyway, let's get on with this. I'm sure you don't care about that. I'm just explaining the lack of quality and preparedness I have in this, the um, shows I have for August. I'll try to do better next year, maybe prepare some extra ones in July next year. Okay, so, the Dinah incident. Genesis 34. Now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had born to Jacob. Oh, Leah was the first daughter that Jacob was forced to marry instead of Rebekah. Uh, because she was older than Rebekah, and the father said he had to marry the oldest daughter first. So Leah... Um, I'm oh, sorry. Um, Jacob married uh, Leah, and then Rachel, not Rebecca. Rachel, uh, the the daughters of Esau. Um, so now Dinah, the daughter of Leah, uh, Leah is the uh, daughter of es um, not Esau. Uh, Leah is the daughter of. Um, can't remember his name right now because uh, I've been so busy okay well I guess that doesn't matter now Dinah the daughter of Leah uh, and Jacob whom she had born to Jacob used to go out to see the daughters of the land and and Shechem the son of Hamor the Hivite, a chieftain of the land, got to see her, and then took her and lay down with her and violated her. So, a chief named Shechem, a Havite, it sounds like uh, either he seduced her or he raped her. Uh, looks a little bit more like he raped her. So he raped Jacob's daughter, Dinah. Ooh. Not, not good. The chief um, Shechem laid down with her and violated uh, Leah, uh, Dinah. And his soul began clinging to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. And he fell in love with the young woman and kept speaking persuasively to the young woman. 
Oh, it looks like he seduced her. Finally, Shechem said, "His uh, looks like his intentions were honorable. And he's a powerful man. He assumes she's going to want to be with him. Finally, Shechem said to Hamor, his father, Get me this young lady as a wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. And his sons happened to be with his herd in the field. Sorry, my air conditioner's going, and I'm doing laundry, because I haven't done laundry in a week. Finally, Shechem said Hamor, to, to Hamor, his father, Give me this young lady as a wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter, and his sons happened to be with his herd in the field. Jacob kept silent until they should come in. He's waiting for his sons to come back from the field. Later, Hamor, Shechem's father, went out to Jacob to speak with him. And the sons of Jacob came in from the field as soon as they heard of it. And the men became hurt in their feelings, and they grew very angry, because he had committed a disgraceful folly against Israel in lying down with Jacob's daughter, whereas nothing like that ought to be done. Okay, so, Jacob and his sons um, are mad that this guy Shechem seduced their daughter uh, and didn't go about the proper courting rituals and may have been uh, may have been a little too um, uh, aggressive I don't know if it's because he was aggressive overly aggressive or because it just violated their um, code of ethics for courting a young lady especially a young lady that has men that are sworn to protect her The men became hurt in their feelings and they grew very angry because he had committed a disgraceful folly against Israel and lying down with Jacob's daughter, whereas nothing like that ought to be done. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, proceeded to speak with them, saying, As for Shechem, my son, his soul is attached to your daughter. Give her, please, to him as a wife, and form marriage alliances with us. Your daughters you are to give to us and our daughters you are to take for yourselves and with us you may dwell and the land will become available for you dwell and carry on business in it and get settled in it so the grandfather uh, Hamor is um, making a very respectful uh, generous offer uh, for Shechem to marry Dinah officially and he's going to give him land and and other daughters for his sons and uh, he wants to become one family which sounds uh, like a good deal to me let's see what happens and uh, with us you may dwell and the land will become available for you dwell and carry on business in it and get settled in it Then Shechem said to her father and to her brothers let me find favor in your eyes and whatever you will say to me I shall give it Raise very high the marriage money and gift imposed upon me and I will stand Willing to give according to what you may say to me only give me the young woman as a wife He's very much in love with Dinah. He says he'll give anything Jacob's sons began to answer Shechem and Hamor, his father, with deceit, and to speak so because he had defiled Dinah, their sister. So they're mad. They're saying that he did not um, proceed appropriately according to their ethics and morals. And they went on to say to them, We cannot possibly do such a thing to give our sister to a man who has a foreskin. Oh, he was not circumcised. He's not of their religion. Because that is a reproach to us. Oh, they don't want her marrying a man from another religion. Only on this condition can we give consent to you that you become like us by every male of yours getting circumcised. Then we shall certainly give your daughters to you, our daughters to you, and your daughters we shall take for ourselves. 
and we shall certainly dwell with you and become one people. But if you do not listen to us to get circumcised, then we will take our daughter and go. And their words seemed good in the eyes of Hamor and in the eyes of Shechem, Hamor's son. And the young man did not delay to perform the condition because he did find delight in Jacob's daughter and he was most honorable of the whole house of his father. I have to go, people. I'm very sorry. God bless you. I'll see you next week.